Okay guys, so here's the golf cart. I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, it's five and a horse, I'm ready for war. I'm coming Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be heading to Washington, Louisiana. We got the trailer attached, the four-wheeler, just in case we have to use the winch to uh, load the golf cart up. And I don't have much, but uh, there's a, if you can see that picture of the golf cart we're going to get. Um, I haven't seen it in person, it's about 10 hours away. I do believe it is a 2004 Easy Go 36 volt uh, TXT PDS or DPS, wh whichever one, I don't know. Um, but anyways, let's hit the road. We got a nice road trip ahead of us. You ready? Yay! All right. Okay guys, so here's the golf cart. Just kind of do a quick walk around here. Um, it's definitely going to need some work. <clears throat> the body, the overall body's in good condition, just a few scuff marks, we can clean that up. Uh, I believe they aired the tires up before we came and picked it up. But look at the roof up here. It's got a big crack there, it's been held on by some twisted up clothes hanger all around so we just put a strap on to kind of keep it from blowing off put a strap over the seat because that was trying to blow off <clears throat> but that's what we got sorry we didn't get a video of loading it I thought I was going to have to use the full wheeler to winch it up on there but luckily since they aired the tires up before we got there we just pushed it up there's the But that's all we got at the moment, and we'll catch you back at the house. And then we'll just start digging into it. Okay, guys, so we just got this unloaded, and now we're gonna get this thing pressure washed. So let's go ahead and set this camera up and get to it.
All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's another day. Um, so, what we've done so far, and I try to record as much as I could, but it ended up getting be a tedious work. But is um, I sanded it, sanded all the bare spots. I don't remember if I showed you what the inside of this looked like, all rusted up. We might eventually have to replace this, and I might be kicking myself for not replacing it now. But the battery tray seems good and solid. It just has a little bit of rust and dirt build up. But I knocked all that off. Taped everything I didn't want to get spray on it. And then I went with some rust stop uh, black paint. And I painted the frame. Picked it up with the tractor and sprayed underneath it. And this is probably the second, maybe third coat in some areas. Um, and everything. So I did get a little bit of overspray on a few things. But most of that I'm replacing anyway. So. So, there's that. But frame's done. We're going to go ahead and throw the new wheels on it so it rolls around easy. And then, uh, I guess the next thing is um, we'll start with the, going to trade these old batteries in right here. Go get some new 6-volt Trojans. But let's go ahead and put this on a time lapse and change the tires. Alright guys, so I'm going to put the steering wheel on. On this right here, all we did was just slide it over this. And I don't know if there's another way, and if there is, you can tell me. But when this goes down on there, if you look at it, there's this one single hole at the top. And your wheels need to be straight, and that'll go at the very top, and that'll just spline on there. You see it's got the grooves in there. But no matter how tight or loose, when you're turning this, the shaft doesn't turn, or the shaft does, but the cover itself don't turn with it, and it makes like a real, uh, real loud grinding and squeaking noise in here. So I don't know if there's a correct way to do it. I'm thinking about just adding a little bit of grease. We'll see if that helps. Um, but. All right, guys, so uh, we're going to do a kind of a walk around and show what we've completed so far. Um, after we do that, we're going to wrap up this uh, first part of the video. Definitely stay tuned for part two as we make our way to Chattanooga to pick up some batteries. We're going to trade our cores in, and then uh, we'll shoot a video of installing the batteries and hoping, hoping to see if this thing runs. So come on around here. And um, so <clears throat> what we've done is, as you'll see in the video, you know, we picked this up down in Louisiana. Uh, we brought it back. We... Spray, uh, pressure wash it real good, degreased, uh, we sanded all the rust off, then we came back with some rust stop black paint and painted all the rust. Uh, I even picked it up, sprayed underneath as well. Uh, so, so far um, we have installed this steering wheel and this uh, sleeve on it. We put the new wheels and tires on it. And we still have to do the body. Um, we'll, we'll, that'll be a later video. We have to prep the body. I think we're going to paint the body a solid black, you know, like a jet black. 
Uh, we've still got to wrap our seats with seat covers that we've ordered. Uh, we still got to, if you take a look at this box over here, this is a uh, Challenger uh, Pro Form X. This is the rear seats combo that we ordered online. Uh, we'll do a video putting that on. So we still got a lot of work to do, but this is where we're at so far. So definitely stay tuned for part two.